check for advanced restart button it's available i am directly booting into recovery using that if you don't have that you can press the volume up button and power button simultaneously in order to boot into recovery use this latest recovery i am using orange fox recovery use the same mostly you won't face any problems go to this delete section i mean the wipe and select this advanced wipe here select dalvik as a system vendor and data swipe here to wipe it later go to home again and select the files here and select downloaded wherever you downloaded the romg files first flash the 12.5.1 global violet in global you can see here firmware again come back and select the rom zip file is it os violet 7 oxygen os it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed you can see here the one plus seven ported rom and 11 still this is the latest available build for redmi note 7 pro you can see here the rom zip file has been flashed successfully as you can see Later, there are two options for you. Either you need to format data or this one. Go to home section and flash this fkipped disabler. Flash the fkipped disabler v3. Either you can do format data or use this fkipped disabler. Done. Again, go to home section here and select this menu and select reboot and select the system. This is the flashing method. Some people don't want to see this flashing method. They can skip it out and you can see here Star Wars logo has been appeared. This is the Oxygen OS 11 port from OnePlus 7. It's booting into that. I will be explaining everything regarding this ROM. Stay tuned till the end of the video and let's begin this video. Hey, welcome back again to new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is a Redmi Note 7 Pro OnePlus 7 port with Android version 11, Oxygen OS 11.0.6.1 ported from OnePlus 7. You can see here and these are all the settings and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes and 2 seconds. You can see here the maximum is 129 and average is 127 and minimum is 119 million GIPS which is good. There is no CPU thermal throttling has been detected. That's also good but the score should be like 150, 160 like that. That's the only difference but anyhow it is and there is a little bit theming here. In this particular room it's not just oxygen OS they have applied some of the theme here and scrolling speeds are not that great here in the settings panel it's fine but the home screen as you can see little bit of lag but okay anyhow you can reduce the animations but still that should be there and regarding settings and customization let me go one by one before that let me start with app reviews the antidote benchmark results You can see here 2,70,393 and temperature raise was just 0 0.9 degree Celsius and 3% of battery drop has been noticed during this Android benchmark result on this Oxygen OS OnePlus 7 port Oxygen OS 11. That's fine enough and even the Geekbench scores let me show you. It's almost close but previously we have seen plenty of Oxygen OS ROMs with very good scores. This how this one here 488 single score and multi score is 1435 and the kernel used here is linux 4.14.212 azure tone def plus kernel has been used that you need to keep in mind if you want to customize kernel i don't think so in oxygen os that's possible but anyhow this is fine not bad not great too and that's how it is and i have installed this arno build gcam if you want you can use any other gcam ports also there is no camera application pre-installed in this particular ROM. You can use that Gcam ports or any other Gcam ports. I don't think so. NX camera support will be there in this particular ROM. If it is, let me know in the comment section below. And safety net status, you can see here, it will get passed maybe. Yes, fortunately, it will get passed. You can use all the banking applications like Google Pay, Phone Pay, Paytm, whatever you want to use, you can use. And I don't like it the notch. They have copied here, it's Android 
let me decrease the brightness okay and the eleven style oxygen is but they have implemented this notch let's see in the display will that has been removable or not okay advanced settings you get notch display here okay there is no option like that it's annoying for me but anyhow it's fine vivid natural advanced color settings are given here vision comfort is given you can customize there and reading mode dark mode vibrant color effect ambient display these are basic things are available we have seen these things from past and these all the display settings you get and customization here you get plenty of themes little bit of themes here and ascent color you can choose system icons i can pack also it kept to cyberpunk if you want you can choose plenty are given here that's good thing font also and plenty are given not just three or four n number of font size you can font styles you can customize from here sound and vibration basic things phone ringtone touch vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable from here that's not the problem and do not disturb more customizations are also available this is the sound and vibration and buttons and gesture let me increase the volume okay this is the volume panel it is the left side and enter settings you can come back to here that's how it is and navigation bar and gestures you get plenty of customization here and quick gestures you can draw o v s a m w you can choose them each one you can keep it as a different shortcut and use them and power and hold uh, power button is there but alert slider we don't have this we can ignore that and the next into the button gestures that's done apps and notifications you can change the default apps from here if you want to use some other browser or dialer you can do that from here and security and lock skin you get just fingerprint unlock i will add the face unlock just a second i just thought to add face unlock but this is ridiculous guys just you can't add that face not recognized please ensure you are you can see here i tried multiple times it's showing the same error if you're also facing the same let me know in the comment section guys this is really bad adding face unlock is not at all good in this particular room and coming to screen unlock let me show you the fingerprint unlock even that is also not okay yes that's also not recognized i tried to add that but haven't added i don't know what's the problem with fingerprint unlock and face unlock that's how it is and coming to like utilities you get plenty of options here app locker forget about app locker the actual lock is not working how we can use app locker and system you get otg storage if you want to use for pen drive or sd card anything you need to turn it on even while connecting to pc just turn that on make sure you turn that on this is the settings and everything nothing great here people ignoring oxygen 11 now trying to oxygen 12 based roms i mean they are waiting for that but i don't know when that will be released for not some pro at least that i don't know that's how it is and uh, this is all the customization and everything i have explained here nothing great i have already made several videos on this oxygen os 11 for redmi not some pro. plenty ports are coming and going you guys can judge i don't recommend this to be as a daily driver that's my conclusion and if you want to you can and let me know in the comment section why you want to use this as a daily driver thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now